Hey, DOT community, this is a lot coming at you with a very special Altar of Abundance Berserker Titans uh, showcase slash pulls. I'm doing this at the very last day, DOT community, because if you were on my Discord on Monday, you would know that I mentioned that it might happen again where we could get the uh, new Titan the day before the event. With the altar of abundance pools now, so I've already heard of players receiving the the new Cerberus today, so of course we're gonna give it a shot as well and see if we can uh, get the new Cerberus. Of course, any two star, three star Berserker uh, Titans aren't bad. We do not get a lot of them, and we do get really awesome Berserkers nowadays. So of course, having two star, three star Berserker food is not exactly a bad thing. Uh, so you've always heard me preach about Berserker food in the past for all the longtime subscribers. So, of course, yes, that's what I'm excited about when it comes down to this. Um, the, re the Berserker relics, eh, not so much. The instrument relics, I have enough of them. And the charm relics, the same situation. So if you're a newer to kind of mid-tier player, not having some of these relics, uh, being able to get a hold of them at this point is not a bad thing. You know, certain relics that have uh, troop melee and range resist is not bad, especially with uh, troop health and stuff like that as well. So cer certain relics you are going to notice are being used and can definitely make your Titans a lot better. Um, but the, uh, of course, uh, Theaters of War is going on right now. Uh, we might do a gold altar at the very end of this video as well to see what happens. Uh, but here we go. I'm just going to slide over to the Discord and we're going to just take a look at what some of the other people in the DOT community have been getting. Of course, it reset itself, so I'm going to have to just <laughs> roll back up. But here we go. So I do appreciate everybody that has been posting on here over the past couple of days. Because we have a great DOT community. And here we go with... Uh, here we go, it should be right here. So Extinction started posting his pulls on Monday. Started off with Life Spark. Pretty amazing. Uh, so a lot of, uh, and then there's Cerberus right there. A lot of pl players were getting these, uh, of course, guaranteed four stars in the Epic uh, token pulls, not the regular. The reg if you see any four star Titans in the regular uh, five pull from your normal Titan tokens that you've saved up, I consider that to be very unique, so those are the ones that are really nice, because you're guaranteed a 4-star in these epic token pools. So that's why it's always good to save them. There are some people that are getting some... There's a nice Kamathi for Extinction. This is, he says it was the best he's ever done. Life Spark for Ice. Uh, as um, and We'll see if there's a few others here. Totec. Totec for KB. Uh, we do have a bunch more, though, of course. Master B. Now this is where it's impressive is when you get a four star Titan with a regular Titan token. So and then let's see what else do we got here? Marok? I actually forget this Titan. Saphira, I think it is. Um and then we have um gosh, some of these older Titans that Fire Titan, obviously. Uh oh, I'll get corrected in the comment section. Let's see. And again. Mamesh. That's what it was. And then uh, there's another Cerberus. So like I said, all that extra prestige or um, uh, Berserker food is not a bad thing at all. There's another Kamathi. So of course, just a crumb of attention please for Mr. Chorito's Mini. Now this is impressive right here. So on a regular Titan pool, you got a 4-star Harp and a 4-star Horn of Infernus. That's insane. That's great. Two 4-star Relics in a non-guaranteed uh, pull and then here's another one with the uh, uh, another four two four star relics that's a toxic charms and then of course uh, something pauldrons uh, so it's impressive to get four two four star relics especially in those uh, titan altars or a four star titan in general and then you got a life spark there's the drum Scion Dog got a Life Spark, very nice, and a Titan Altar. Uh, Euchronus Verticron. 
Got a Sephira. Life Spark. I see a lot of Tarhoons. Tarhoons is nice. I always like him. Grim Vlad. Almoran. Yeah, you get a four star Titan right there. That's nice. Uh, Solgar. <laughs> and Gargan. Woo hoo! Everybody's been getting Gargan. I know a lot of players are going to put in the comment section. They're going to say, Zalon, I got just a bunch of Gargans. Yeah, I know. It sucks sometimes. You're not always going to get. Um, the, uh, the the four star titans, especially on those titan tokens. Uh, let's see what we got. Infaridus got the um, the Mahaha. There we go. We got a Mahaha there. Beowulf. We got Bex. He's got a Mamesh. Or not a Mamesh. Um, good cash. So many titans names to remember. Um, uh, the one I've been looking that I that I'm leveling up right now. Um, Ma Mara? No, um, ah, I'll remember later after the video. Life Spark, Beowulf, Uranus. I think we've pretty much touched on all the different four star drops there. Bub below got Mahaha. So, skip ahead a bit. Skip a bit, brother. Foranic got, look at this. Foranic got a two star, one star, one star. That's pretty nice. And then a three star, two star on some drops. So, there you go. This is what most people get. Birdie got three Gargans, but then you get, you know, throw in a Thorhild real quick. So, that's not bad at all either. And... We'll look at this last run right here. Which one's this? From Polo! The one who has the most to say. Always appreciated Polo. <laughs> um, let's see, what do we got here? Coppice! And a whole bunch of good Berserker food. Oh, wow. He got the grapes. There's Marok. Yeah, he just got a whole bunch of older four-star. There you go. Rune's Pauldrons. Not a great relic, though. Solgar. <laughs> Earth Charms. Not the worst. But of course, Polo doesn't like it. Other people have had gotten way better pulls than that. But thank you for everybody that posted. Of course, I may not have used yours, but I didn't want to make this to be too long of a video. But I do appreciate all the people that showcased off everything. We're going to jump in here and see if we can grab ourselves a Seabus. I have eight epics, eight regular tokens. So here we go. We'll try. And see what we get. Like I said, if I get any Berserker food, I'm not going to complain. If I get a bunch of regular food and gold, I'm not, I'm not going to like that. So let's see what we got. Malduck. Hakan. Hakan. Shadowbow. Oh. If I don't get any excitement soon, I'm just going to have to pull an epic just to, to, to take get rid of some of the monotony of the video. Hoplite cord. Hagugan. I think the developers make sure to put the Hagugan in there just so I uh, just so I do that. They're like Zalon will continue to do it. Let's keep the Hagugan in. <laughs> Kuba. Toria. Gargan. All right, let's let's get a guaranteed four star. Let's see what we get. Regular Titan tokens. Great for food. I have more Gargan. Void Ring. Midas Touch. Spartan Cape. Spartan Helm. Food. All right. I, I love it when they let the, la the last pull be the four star. Come on. A four star hell! What? <laughs> That's not bad. Hell's pretty sweet. Um, all right. We'll do some more regulars. To use that to prestige my my hell. How about grasp? Three star. Mm, there's some other three star uh, pantheon relics that are probably a bit better than the three star elemental grasp. So keep it. Hagugan. Bunch of crap. All right, let's do another guaranteed. Let's get something sweet. 
like Cerberus. Like portal stones. Armored boots! Wah, wah. This is a bunch of junk. Let's try that again. Armored boots. Ugh. Developers like, ha ha ha. It's a lot. Mumash! Gargan. Gargan. Gold. Kuba. Kuba. That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, berserkers. Right, let's see what we got. Let's get like a four-star relic or titan from the titan altar here. Come on, at least one out of eight stones. Map. Two more, let's see what happens. We'll do a gold theater after this. I'll skip one ahead and see if I can get anything good from that. So far, I got two two-star and two one-star event relics for the upcoming event this weekend. And Cerberus seems to be, if you've waited this long in the video, here you go. It's a nice little snippet of what's going on. So uh, I, if you noticed, Aventador has been putting out some Cer uh, attack, uh, attacking Cerberus videos that I was uh, working on with him earlier today. So, no, no, no four-star. Crap. All right, well, we five, five, five guaranteed, so here we go. But I'm uh, working with the Ventador. He's been going to be putting out a bunch of uh, Cerberus videos. Banner of the Forest. That's crap. That's something better than that. <laughs> but uh, I, he's a big time waster, it seems like. So Cerberus will be popular in the sense that some may put him out on defense just to obviously be another time-wasting defender. As well as the fact that they just want to go for the Forsetti's axes because that's the Spartan helm. Uh, getting a bunch of bunch of duds. Let's get a Greg. Come on, let's get a C bus. Let's get one. Come on, just one. Now that I'm asking for it, it's not going to happen. Before it was just such a hug. It was such a surprise. A oh, void rune. Uh. Many players are like, yes, Salon, have the same luck as me. Yeah, I know. It does happen like this, and that's why I have to show... I like to show as many of these as possible, because I don't always get the best luck. Everyone's like, oh, you just get whatever you want, Salon. <laughs> no, see? I get An Anguta's Grasp. That's what I get. Of course, I've saved these up over the past few weeks, so it is nice to be able to finally... Unload them for something good like Berserkers. Mahaha! One of the Cerberus, though. Mm. Well, I guess I'm gonna, I'll just have to get them in the event. Alright, one gold altar. Just because when I do these, it always seems to give me a little bit better chance. We'll see. Give me like a three star event relic. Like three st a two star a two star and two ones like Ferranic, please. <laughs> Don't worry, Hyperion will make this short work. And I love these guys. Look at them go. We are the fire spearmen. <laughs> For Sparta. Gotta love battling with Hyperion. Using all these different fire troops. It's the best. Boop. Alright, let's see what we get. I never wanna I never wanna touch the screen. I feel like I'm gonna rush it. Ugh. Nothing. Just like me, Zalon. <laughs> I know, DOT community. It's like that sometimes. All right. So, anyway, like I said, two two stars, two one stars. Now, of course, like I've always said before in the past, uh, if you can, uh, before you go to bed, 
uh, and there's like some little bit of timer left and it's not that many gems and you're willing to give it another go, well then get do so. Or if you know that you can wake up in the morning before it ends and get another battle or two in before the event starts, that's a, that's a good idea too as well. And make sure, especially newer players, that you do all your monuments. You can get three titans on each one of them and you can do them, you know, uh, well, obviously you have the opportunity to do them twice all the way through. Uh, over this uh, the two day event, so thank you DOT f uh, community for watching. And if you had a all right time, at least smash like. I do appreciate it. Always helps. I will do. I did not get the synergy relic with the uh, Cerberus, so of course it might pop onto my account tomorrow. If it does, think about doing a possible defensive live stream tomorrow. If not, an event live stream. So we'll see what happens. All right, DOT community. I'll talk to you all again very soon. Have a good one.